Here we are at the intercoastal Port O'Connor, about to start fishing. I'm gonna kick it off again with the bio bait. This guy has got five fish underneath its belt and the signs of abuse are right here. Hopefully y'all can see this. It's split where the hook goes through and what I'm having trouble is whenever I twitch it to use it like a jerk bait, uh, the hook expand or the hook puts pressure on the lure itself with that paddle tail it stretches a little bit and then it goes out just like that so if that's what's going to happen then i'm just going to have to call it for this lure if i'm unable to catch any fish because of it uh, the bottom line is to catch fish and that is the only signs of where that has been going on so here we go let's get started all right, we gotta put this guy away and we'll continue on with, oh, wait a minute. Hmm, I don't even have a down south on. All right, well, let's see what the clickbait shrimp is gonna do. I was gonna continue on with a torture test, but oh well. There we go. That's a lady. That is a big lady. On the clickbait shrimp, my God. <laughs> Dang, this guy's got some power. Stay above the water, man. Good night. All right, my goodness. Son, I don't even want to touch you. They, these guys, if y'all have ever grabbed a ladyfish, y'all know what I'm saying how slimy these suckers are. They're worse than uh, gap tops and flatheads. I mean, not flatheads, hardheads. Look at that, it came out that easy. Big old huge ladyfish. Get out of here. First fish of the day. We put the uh, bio bait paddle tail away just for a second. We just wanna enjoy some of the fun. I'm out here with David Trail Chaser and my son and we just barely started and already got into the fish so i'm hoping it's gonna be a precursor of what is yet to come so uh this clickbait shrimp bugs lures it's got these little bb's when you twitch it they clack against each other this is the gotcha pattern this guy is weedless so that's why i'm throwing it and i've got it tied on because there is a lot of grass here at this location There we are, right at the cut. And we got a nice little, little motorboat and trout. Mr. Speck, look at that, beautiful little speckle trout. These guys, whenever they're young, their colors are just so gorgeous. Hold on, little guy, please, just chill out. There we go. I would have showed y'all, but he was uh, in a rush to get back down there and continue eating. There we are. Got another one with that very, very crazy twitch. Oh, that is a good trout. Oh, that's the first keeper trout right there. Where is it? Just do not get off, honey. Oh my gosh, she's digging. Look at that. There we go. Wow. Almost a speckleless trout. Look at this fish, everyone. No specks except on, they're really prominent on the uh, tail and then on the dorsal, really nothing. Hey, this guy wants to be a, uh, a sand trout. Let's get this hook out, there we go. Again, clickbait shrimp, getting it done. Look at that. Oh, we had one. I didn't even feel the thump, just like that, right there. What is that? Another little motorboat and trout. Little fella, little guy, hey, little guy. <laughs> There's two of us playing, all right? And I can get you back in the game as soon as you settle your butt down. Settle down, there you go. Whoa, buddy, dang it. There we are, back at it again. Man, this clickbait shrimp is getting it done for sure. It's the perfect lure. I mean, the fall rate, super slow. Again, that rabbit fur, I think that's what makes the difference. Oh, there we go. Wow. 
That is one heck of a ladyfish. Dang, oh my gosh. There must have been somebody else with him because it got off and then something else hit my line immediately. You gotta be kidding me. I had a ladyfish and then a trout comes and hits it. Oh my gosh. I can't make this stuff up. Man, the things that happen to you when you come out here. The ladyfish was seriously taking some drag, got off, and this fella just picks it right up. Oh wow, that is that is awesome. That's crazy. Alright, there come on, there we go. Beautiful. Wow. Crazy, crazy what happens to you out here. Oh, we got a... Oh, that's a trout. That's another nice size trout right there. 13. Yeah, about 13 inches. There we go. Good night. Okay. Man, that lure's putting in some overtime. All right. I don't know if I got it on video. I'm probably I didn't. Uh, this little fella chased the bio bait down. I mean, from a far distance, he just kept going and going. All right, little buddy. We'll see you later. Uh, chase this thing down. That's number six for the bio baits. I'm hoping that I got the action. Uh, there was a big school of them, and uh, gosh, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far out here. It's just. Like the good old days where you see a bunch of reds, you see them tails, their heads are inside the grass and they're feeding aggressively. Oh, right here, Christian, in front of me. Right in front of me, my bow. Cast towards that grass. But he's right here, he's literally right here. He's moving that way. Towards that grass. There you go. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> He's a big one. Dang. I don't know where he's at now. Oh, there he is. This guy is massive. I don't know what kind of crab it is. Look at that. Tell me that ain't no massive crab. Holy cow. And his, his claw, like his pinch. Check this out, man. You're gonna poop your pants. Ugh. Wow, that's a huge rock crab. Right? <laughs> wow, you a kill picture? That is massive. Yeah, this guy's perfect for this trip. I think he's probably 23. Look at them claws. Man, you want to bite them? You like crabs, right? <laughs> dude, he has a one hell of a pinch. Man, that is massive. Yeah, watch the man, dude. He was like grabbing my paddle, and I was, I was feeling the hurt from my paddle too. That, that dude was that freaking insane. crazy. Christian, there's some, there's some right there too. I'm gonna let y'all cast on the big one right there off the grass. We got two schools of reds tailing right here at the point where the grass is. And then I saw these fellas. That's where I'm going to go. Got to make sure this is set. There we go. If we hook into something, that's going to be number nine, I want to say. We've caught eight so far. And I believe we have only got one on video. I'm hoping and praying that I'm recording. So let's just uh, check right now. Yes. We are recording, so here we go. Go ahead, Mark. I'll cast after you. Are we good? We both get the same fish? Okay. No. Let's see. You good? Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. This guy feels like he's undersized. I'm trying to find... Okay, there they go. Oh god, I don't know how he didn't hit my lure. Well, let's continue with the uh, string of bad luck is what I'm going to call it. You don't get too many shots like that. 
We've seen so many tailing reds today, it's just crazy. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. There you go, way to get him. Got him. Oh, I was able, able to pluck one out of his school. That is a big one, Christian. Oh my gosh, finally. Double hookup, me and Christian. Look at that. There we go. Whoo, baby. And finally, on camera too, people. Let's get the uh, hook out. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful redfish. Go on, little fella. All right, finally made it happen. Casting to a school. And guess what? Finally got it on camera. Oh my gosh, that is number nine for the bio bait. And uh, it's still hanging in there strong. Not showing any signs of letting up. We're gonna continue on this little grass flat and maybe be able to sight cast a few more. I've been catching them, but I just can't remember to turn the camera on. It's been that crappy of a day for me making all those rookie mistakes. Got him. Oh my God. <laughs> man, oh man. I think this is 10 for the bio bait. This is my first keeper of the day too. go all right there we go look at that first slot red of the day bio bait and that dude needs to join a circus hey, look at that beautiful redfish here let's clean you off buddy you need a shave look at that beautiful redfish right there absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh thank you mr. redfish thank you Oh, look at that right there in the grass. He's like, maybe if I don't move, he does not see me. <laughs> oh, what a great day. Tickle, 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 tickle. There he goes. He's right there. <laughs> look at this little turd. Oh, that was a beautiful redfish. All right. Let's just say 10. It's 10 or 11, I'm not too sure, but uh, oh, hopefully uh, we're not done. I just saw one right there. He just flashed broadside. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go, come on. Right there, right there. Gotcha. Oh, yes. This guy looks big. There's some more guys right there. Come here. Come here, Mr. Bull Red. I don't know if he's a bull. He's the upper slot for sure. And look at that. He's still got fight in him. Listen to that drag. Well, we got this thing cinched down. We have it cinched down and he's still taking it. Oh, upper slot red. It does not get better than sight casting to these little red spots in the water on the grass flats out here, Port O'Connor, Texas. Oh yeah, that is a really nice sized fella. Come on. There we go. He's done. He is done. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Dude, I think he's going to be over slot. We're going to get the boga. Holy moly. Gosh, look how big this fella is. That's why he had, oh gosh, look at that. Now that is a proper, proper redfish. What a donkey right here. Holy moly. All right, here we go. Let's check how big he is. <sighs> 
26 and a half. So my eyes, again, have deceived me. But when you haven't caught something like this in a long time, you tend to think it's like, oh my gosh, that is 60 inch long redfish. <laughs> the bio bait still doing it. How do you do it, buddy? How do you do it? Now, this isn't to see like who can catch fish. Every paddle tail can catch fish. This is just basically to see how much torture can they take? How many fish can you catch on one lure? Who's going to be the best bang for your buck? All right. Admiring this beautiful brute one last time. We're going to get you back inside that water, my friend. Oh, gosh. And with that, my day has been made. What a spectacular... Ah, oh, what a spectacular outing on the water it has been, seeing so many tailing reds, a bunch of schools, and uh, Port O'Connor, again, does not disappoint. What a fabulous f time I've had out here. I mean, there's not much more words that I could use to try and describe what it is that I'm seeing and how the tug feels. That fellow was just massive. What a great day. I am so, so stoked. It's... I've needed this for the longest time, especially after coming off of a skunk the last trip yesterday. Port O'Connor, thank you so much. Talk about a great day out there on the water. Being able to see those reds tailing was just absolutely spectacular. It's been a long time. I hope you really liked the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.